Welcome back to a live-ish episode. What? 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 You can have this. This is yours. This is all you. This is all you. Now, now the fine folks tuned in <laughs> to watch you open this. This. This mess, this my 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 mirror macadamia, macadamia gazebo. So, what can you tell us about this um, well, creature? It's Bakugo. Who? Bakugo. Who? Kotsky Bakugo. Who? <laughs> this gives me this gives me nightmares of 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 Chief Hooper, Chef Hot Hooper. <laughs> Go ahead, tear into this thing. Let's see. Let's see this thing. Okay. I'll show the back. Wow. 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 Yeah. Grenade fists. Yeah. Wow. wow. This always happens. Always. This always. always. This always happens. Oh. Wow. 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 Perfect. It's it's now it's beyond mint. Snapping anything important. Which I will uh, inevitably end up doing. So what does he do? Oh, he can do splits. No, no bend in his elbow. No, no bend in his knees. Does he turn his head? Is his head? Is his head static? I I really I like that these aren't like hard plastic because I'd be scared to like turn his head. Didn't snap. Yeah, like break his hair off or like break these off. Anything else to say about it? I love him. Hmm? I love him. You love him? I love him. But I think I need to return him back to the universe. <laughs> Wasn't I just in my room? I don't know. Didn't you just like do this show? Like, <laughs> I just summoned you. I summoned you with the reality gem. You have replaced Riley. Wait, here, you can have this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> let me, let me uh, take off the uh, gauntlet all dainty like and be like, oh, it's all sweaty. Oh, it smells like Thanos. <laughs> oh. oh. It does not smell like grapes. <laughs> uh, I guess we got the we got the uh, the the almighty sandwich there. Old mighty sandwich. Mm-hmm. Mm, sandwich sounds good. Which is gonna be a, 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 a uh, you know usually we show these and we're like oh well we're gonna do a retro new review someday you know someday in the far far future but uh, no we're gonna let uh, much like Riley she, she ripped into hers we're gonna let Kyra rip into hers as well. And the first layer is off. Oh, the suspense. What could it be? I don't know. Oh. It could be Kyra <laughs> dropping out. <laughs> or is he articulated and stuff? Because we were noticing. It. it looked like in the package he was almost a statue. Yeah. I mean, it's weird because they have the 7-inch. They have the 7-inch ones. And they're the typical McFarlane. Like, you could see that they're joined in the wrist. I think they even have, like, alternate hands and right. all this other stuff. The bigger, the 7-inch ones are located in, like, the collector's aisle. And this is located, actually, in the toy aisle. And we're like, well, what's the difference besides, besides, like, these are half of, like, what the 7-inch ones were. Mm -hmm. And we're like, well, these probably are lacking the articulation, uh, you know. And we're like, well, why would they, like, oversimplify it for, for, for a child? But it looks like he's got, what, his, his arms look his like His arms, move. yeah, his arms move up and down just very slightly. They don't move, like, forward and backward or anything. They're just up no, and down. No joints in the elbows. No. Yeah. No, nothing. Bit, no bend in the wrists. And he does have some, he has hip movement. It goes out and forward Hips. and back. Does he have anything, like, in his, like, in his waist? Does he, no. Oh, uh, no, I don't think no so. No motion in his waist. Does he have any, uh, maybe a little, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit of a turn on his head. Yeah. 
not much. Right, so there you go. So now, now if you ever get the seven inch one, you'll be like, you know, this would be like his child that he can go and he can take to the playground and like, yeah, let's go ride the roller coaster. Okay, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> comparing the statue to the figure uh -huh. the, i can tell like some of the paint stuff's off but mm -hmm, he's a little yeah because like if you look at his, his legs and stuff and he's missing he's missing the stripes missing on the sides too on his hip yeah, area they probably oversimplified him yeah they oversimplified looks like he's got a hole in his back for uh, looks like there might be like a, a stand or something oh that's true it might be a stand something that snaps into the the thing to stand him up. It's kind of interesting that his arms don't swivel like forwards in any way so that you can put him in a forward pose. Right. Because I mean, like... He definitely can sit in the Batmobile. And be like, he can sit in the Batmobile, he just can't drive. And he, he has to sit on his knuckles. <laughs> I think his knuckles might reach the ground before his butt does. No, maybe no. not. So this one's been out several times, but this is a McFarlane. So this is like, you know, he's got like three, he's got like all three points joints, of joints yeah. in there. And, and I imagine that's what the seven inch of those do. He's got his movement here. He's got way a lot of movement there. Oh, yeah. Three point. I mean, he even, like, his toes. His toes move. Bend oh. up. So that if you have him in a position where he looks like he's running, you can actually put the toe. You can bend the toe and stuff. So this would be an unfair. And he's also got alternate. He's got closed oh, fists yeah. as well. Um, so this in comparison to that. I mean, the only way we can compare this is, is McFarlane to McFarlane. But he's not... Uh, I mean, this is almost aimed more towards a collector, and that's probably aimed towards, aimed towards children who kids like the that show. are into yeah. the show. I mean, is the show <laughs> children friendly? Is it a is it PG? Yeah, PG ish? Yeah. Um, gets a little gory at times. <clears throat> I think that it might be better almost to compare him to this kind of version. I would say maybe it's aimed more towards like teenagers, the show. But I brought this guy, he's probably a closer. I yeah. mean, he's still like he, he still has a little more joints. This guy is still about half half the price of what he was, but he's probably closer to play action action uh, version. I mean, notice if you lift up his cape, he actually has bat cuffs. Oh, stuff. yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed. To, I, I think that's supposed to be a bat communicator. I always say it looks like a bat grenade. Yeah, it kind of does. He has the other other communicator back here that's attached to him as well. So your comparison of this to this as as far as McFarlane and your comparison of this to this as as far as playability, what would you? I mean, he's not as detailed and he doesn't have as much movement and stuff. Right, but like the but way that they move and everything, it feels similar. Because like if you were to move his shoulders compared to his shoulders, they feel similar in the way that they move. But yeah, obviously, you know, he doesn't have much movement, but still you can kind of just, you can tell like, oh yeah, these are kind of the same people can really tell mm -hmm. um i definitely think that this might be aimed more as a collector's item in a way just because it has less movement than an actual like action it figure seems like a staction figure almost yeah a staction, a staction figure, figure. staction figures even have less movement <laughs> staction figures like uh, um i know i'm going to point to something off camera that people can't see oh it's, they're back there you can't even see it uh there's a luke skywalker staction figure back there he's just a statue but the pieces that he's on top of like the toes the toes of the adat walker move and the, the there's actually uh sand or it's not sand but snow around him okay. that have little pinholes in them and if you look underneath you could, there's actually pins that you can pop out and when you buy your action figures, you stick the pins in the, the pinhole, you stick them in there, and then you have Luke Skywalker fighting an ADAT driver, or Luke Skywalker fighting a Tusken Raider for whatever reason. You know, it's your imagination, do whatever. Yeah. You know, Luke Skywalker f fighting a snowtrooper. Right. So it's kind of like it's it's like a it's kind of like this playset. It's, it's like a statue, but then it's kind of like a playset kind of thing. Right. Um, this might be even the same. I mean, this doesn't even have the no yeah, holes in the bottom it. or anything. But he's pretty. He's well balanced that he doesn't even really need yeah. anything. I mean, the only hole he has is back here, which we are theorizing might go into another stand that may make him look like he flies. Or maybe in the future they will release something that will go along with it. Because, like, I know there's a, there's a Deku one, isn't there? Mm -hmm. They make a Deku one that's small like this. Maybe he has a hole in the back and maybe there's something that'll come out in the future that'll have like the electricity that he gets when he goes full cowling maybe or there might be a, a secondary market or something i don't right. know i don't know how well mcfarlane and does that kind I of mean, stuff but yeah 
It kind of looks like he would be flying, but he'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can only fly this way. I can't put my arms. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Another liveish video uh, uh, with with two people this time. Go figure. I got confused for a second. <laughs> And, uh, you know, um, you know, liking the likes, commenting the comments, subscribing the subscribes. And as far as this goes, I am tired of this reality. I am ready to snap it out of existence. And uh, we will see you next week.